over here at Planet. Today I wanted to show, share with you a, another real simple recipe. I find it easy to make. What I've just done is dumped about is that a quarter cup, about a very heaping quarter cup, uh, probably close to a third cup of brown rice in here. That's whole, and now I'm going to grind it. That's my rice ground. Rice, by the way, is a harder grain than wheat. I'd say it takes about twice as much effort to grind rice as it does to run wheat through this. Wheat is much, much softer, uh, at least most varieties. If you don't have a grain mill, I have a friend who does this just in a regular like countertop blender. I don't have one of those, but if you do, you can probably just put a scoop of, of whole brown rice grains in there and run it on, I don't know what he uses, pulverize or puree or something until it just dry, nothing else in there, just the dry rice grains and run it till it turns it into a flour. I think his flour ends up a little bit coarser than mine, but it's similar. Now what I've got over here is just a couple cups of water heating. This takes less rice <laughs> and more water than you think it's going to. Rice absorbs an incredible amount of water. As my water finishes heating up, I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in. My Redmond Real Salt, that's why I dump into a cap. So that I don't accidentally end up with a quarter cup of salt in there. We're gonna put like half a teaspoon or something like that in. And I've got little bubbles coming up. Now you don't wanna dump this all in in one big gigantic clump because it will be hard to get it to um, mix nicely after that and not be clumpy. So I just kind of shake it in, just like when you're mixing any any other dry thing into something wet, a little bit at a time there. Until I've got it all in there and mixing the whole time so I don't get too many lumpies. There's still a few clumps that are going to dissolve as this cooks. Now, whole grain brown rice is very uh, nutrient dense. White rice, much less so, uh, because they've scrubbed off all the outside peel um, kind of on the kernel and that is where much of the nutrients are like IP6 which um, where people are, are studying for its use in preventing things like colon cancer and, and even other cancers. Anyway it's a very nutrient dense food so you can see how quickly that is getting thick and kind of bubbly. You want to keep your heat on pretty low here because otherwise it will very quickly burn um, and I just want it to cook just long enough for the rice starch to no longer taste starchy but cooked. If you were using a, <laughs> it likes to pop kind of like that, if you were using a um, blender instead your grains are going to be a little bit bigger. They're going to cook a little bit less instantly and uh, need to simmer for just a few more minutes. But that's pretty much done. This is a super quick thing. I'm actually going to turn it off there. It's going to keep bubbling. What I forgot to do, I usually try to put these into the water while it's heating up. This is some dried raspberries that I dehydrated. One time I got a great deal on raspberries and I like I like fruit in this. You could also make it sweet and savory with cheese and bacon or something like that. This could be a breakfast. I like it just as a main meal or even as a dessert. Um, that's some dried blueberries that I did. Dehydrating fruits and veggies is a great way to use extra things up if you've got a a good deal on them. I'm gonna just mix them in there. If I remember, <laughs> I try to put my dried fruit in there while my water is still heating so it can just start to soften up a little bit um, more as it's cooking, but it's going to uh, get soft pretty quick in there. And you can see how nice and thick that is. And I could taste this and it tastes um, cooked the whole way through. There's no starch flavor like if you're making a gravy or something and you have uncooked flour in there um, you would you would get that kind of starchy flavor so what I like to do with this is just 
just make a little bowl. So I made a little bit more than I can quite eat here for a single meal, which is fine. I like to add cinnamon. You could add whatever spices and flavors you like, but with this, I really, really like cinnamon. Um, I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top. Melt just a little bit of butter in there. Good pasture fed um, butter. Just gonna push that down in there so it can melt. And then a little maple syrup. You could use honey, you could use whatever else, but with no sweetener. And again, you could go the savory route with this. I just like the fruit route. Um, this is just a really delicious combo. Drizzle a little maple syrup on top. And then I like to add a little bit of milk. And this time I'm going to use soy milk. I don't do much dairy milk. I actually don't do a lot of soy milk. There's um, some particular health reasons right at the moment when I'm actually trying to increase my soy consumption. And there I've got a delicious bowl of creamed rice that only took me a couple minutes to put together. Only costs hardly anything because just plain brown rice is pretty inexpensive and the fruits were things that I either wild picked or got very cheaply and dehydrated myself. So basically the things I'm buying are my salt, cinnamon, some butter, and maple syrup. And there is a delicious tasty bowl I'm going to sit down and have for kind of my brunch because I don't eat breakfast much. Um, but this is going to be my meal today. Most of the time I do very, very veggie uh, heavy meals, but this one is just one. It's a really cold day outside. It's way below zero. And this just was what I was in the mood for today. So I thought I would share it with you folks. You could of course also use fresh fruit if you have some. This isn't a good time of year for fresh fruit here for me. Or even canned fruit, like my canned peaches, they would be great in this. I've done that before. But it's also a great way to use up some dried fruit if I've got some of that. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.